to check out. Me and mom have matching 50th shirts on today. We were actually supposed to bring these yesterday, but I forgot mine. Mom brought hers, and so now we're wearing them today to have got. <laughs> we just wheeled all of our stuff into the lobby to see that they opened this back up again. I'm so glad that we got to see it. The fountain isn't working, but the penguins are just so cute, and there's a little pineapple at the top. <laughs> Alright, so we're waiting for the monorail, but I just wanted to show you guys our shirts. We all three of us have these matching 50th shirts, and they're really cute. And we're excited to go to Epcot, right? Mm -hmm. Yay! So we just met a really nice woman on the monorail who told us a little tip on how to get walk up reservations through the app. It's a different way, and it'll just show you what you're able to join a walk up, like walk in list for. We had France, but we canceled it because we're really hoping that we can try and get Space 220. So this is what it looks like. So it'll yeah, it looks show different. You. So I just click the now, yeah. and then underneath what? it'll have a little thing that says join walk up list, and then you just click that, and I think they say like, oh, you have to go closer, and then you just wait on the line at the restaurant, and then hopefully you get in. So we're gonna spend all day today <laughs> refreshing and watch the experience at. Our next stop is the continue Why is it so loud today? <laughs> All of the rooms are open now, and I think you might be able to stay here. I'm not too sure, but I can't. I want to go see. I think we should because I want to see in the Incredibles room. because it makes us feel special to go to the pet holder entrance and I always look for an excuse to go use it so here we are.
All right, so we just checked to see if there was any chance of getting into Space 220, which is right back there. It actually looks like it goes into Mission Space, but it doesn't, it goes like around the building. Then again, I don't know, I've never been back there. But there's no reservations, there's no walk-ins, you can't like walk up. They do have like a standby line and it's three hours right now. He said we can always come back and check later and see if there's a shorter line. He said if it's like half as long as it is now, it's probably like an hour and a half. Yep. So now that we saw how long the three hour line is, we know what to look for when we come back to see if it is any shorter, because that would be really cool, right Eric? That'd be cool if we went there. Yeah. I can't believe I'm looking at Club Cool again. So they moved it. It used to be all the way on the other side, like over toward the land. Now it's right here. This is the line. I'm not too sure how long this line is. I haven't asked anybody. I think we're gonna just go to the creation shop if there's no line. Nope, my mom and brother just walked in, so there is no lie. That's beautiful. That's really, really pretty. Nice. So oh my god. These are so funny. These are so cute. So there's a lot of sporadic 50th stuff throughout. But there's just so many people in here. It's like madness. They have a whole bunch of different sections. Like I think this is the boys section. And then over here they have like jewelry and purses. Some backpacks. And then there's a journey of work. It is so cool. It's like reflective. And it looks like the Epcot globe. They have lots of cool like globe things. A puzzle. <laughs> that would be hard. I feel like everything would look the same. Oh, these pants are sick. Look, and there's Epcot down the side right here. That is awesome. Half reflective too. So. All right, it's snack time. Yeah. We got a blue one and a coke one. So I got the coke one. Usually you guys know I like the blue one like Eric has. But I realized that this is the exact same thing as the Wheezy Breezy Freezy that they used to have over by Toy Story Mania before they moved it on to Toy Story Land. They used to have a stand called Woody's Roundup something. I think they actually have them still at Rock and Roll Closer, but they're obviously not called this. But. All right, so we just got the black and white coffee cocktail. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see what this is. So it's a vanilla liqueur. So Does it? Good. It's vanilla liqueur, some kind of rum, and then it has Joffrey shaken Jamaican. Is it so good? It's strong. I know, because there's like, it's only alcohol besides the... I'm sipping this one. Yeah. Wow. It's good though? That is so good. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you found that. It's not that strong. Mine it's is. Strong? <laughs> <Don't> trade? <laughs> no. Are you excited? Want to be in the middle? Two hours? Yeah. Take Sim Car off road in extreme weather seasons.
as we were getting online, we heard that there was inclement weather coming, so we bypassed the whole create your own car section, but they have one right at the exit, and the cast member that was at the end of the line told us that there's no time restraint on the ones out here. You get like a minute and 30 seconds if you're doing it to scan it to go on the ride, because they try and get everybody out there in a timely manner. But if you wait to do it at the end of the ride, there's no time limit. You can do whatever you want for as long as you want. So Eric is extremely happy about that. <laughs> Yeah, that thing is big, Eric. Okay, so in the room where the car is, when you come out, they have this thing that you can make a commercial for the car that you just created. Mm -hmm. So director Eric over here is making his own commercial. Uh, we never did this. Oh. Never. To the metal! Oh my Whoa. gosh, that's so loud! Here's yours, eh? Ready? Do you want to see the one to do it? Oh my gosh. Take the stage! <gasps> oh my gosh. And then look, I think you gotta do it on this screen. Oh, ready? We'll take three in a row. It's gonna do three different ones. So after the first one, do a different pose. Nice! Go. Look at you! One more, do Perfect! I just saw these pins, and they're different ice creams, and they're all characters. So, I think I'm gonna get this, because I can always trade the ones that I don't like, and I haven't bought any pins in so long, but this ice cream caught my eye, because you guys know where the ice cream is. Like Alright, ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see Donald. Flounder. Mini? Oh, Dalmatian? You know, really to me, it just is not easy to Oh, that's so cute. So first thing I did was I traded this, oh, I traded the Dalmatian one for a blue Pascal pin. And he has a head in Mickey, which means he's a cat pin, and I'm freaking out. If you know me, I love Pascal. Ah! That's it. The line for Space 220 was all the way back here last time, so I think this should be in the next about an hour and a half. Alright, so we're in line for Space 220. They're saying it's about three hours, but it is half of what it was when we came here in the morning when they said it was three hours. We're hoping that it's anything less than three hours, but I don't care because I'm going to stand here anyway. Eric wanted to go on Mission Space for the first time, so my mom took him because you guys know that I freak out over it, and I've been on it, I think, once, maybe twice. It's just too claustrophobic for me, and Eric loves simulators. He He's very excited to go on it. We'll probably be able to ride Mission Space like three times, four times before we go in. Green is only a five minute wait and orange is a ten minute wait. So they should be in and out of there pretty quick. And once they come back, if Eric likes it and he wants me to go, maybe I'll take him on it once. Okay, so we were online for Space 220 and we found a subscriber, Christy. <laughs> She's been watching for like two, three years. We've been trying to find each other in the parks we for finally found days each now. Other. And we've been very excited. <laughs> so she was actually here on Sunday. Yep. So do you want to tell us any tips, tricks, reviews, sure. anything? I would ask, if you can, to have a booth by the earth. The meals are pretty much the same for lunch and dinner, but the prices are different. So it's more expensive for dinner, so if you can get in for lunch, it, you're literally getting the same amount of food, but it's cheaper. It is a little pricey if you want a cocktail and, and lunch, but yeah. the experience is worth it. Mm -hmm. right. And That's try to get, paying yeah, for. yeah. You're definitely paying for the experience, but definitely try to get in for lunch because you're gonna save like $20 or $30 compared oh, yeah. to dinner. Per yeah. person, right? Per, per person. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's a lot of Plus money tip. when you're here. Yeah, Plus right, tip. exactly. Yeah. That's helpful. Thank yeah, you. you're welcome. <laughs> 
Okay, so we've been in line for over two hours. It's been like two hours and 15 minutes, I'd say. We got in line about 4.15 and it is now 6.37. So it's been quite some time. My mom and Eric rode Mission Space. He convinced me to go on Mission Space. Don't know how uh, he really wanted to, so I did it for him. And I was freaking out the whole time. And he was like, Morgan, I've never seen you like this. I was really scared. I didn't like it at all. It was not fun at all, but I did it for him. I'm gonna insert some footage that I took on my phone because I want to bring my camera and like know where to put it. And freak out and drop it but we're still waiting we've moved up probably only about halfway we still have a good amount of parties in front of us there's mom right there every now and then they do come out they'll say oh party one party two anybody we started looking at the menu and they have lots of good food good drinks so it's now seven o'clock there's still about eight people in front of us we just now got to the front of the line you guys are clear for departure you're going to be sent down to our departure lounge where um, our crew member is going to take you up to space you guys ready to go yeah we're so excited i got clear on departure for you guys you are ready to go down the departure lounge. Thank right you this so way much. excited okay so as we were waiting we were getting closer and closer to the front and someone came up to us and said now that there's a possibility that we might not be able to even get inside and everybody online starts getting so mad saying we were never told that we wouldn't have waited this long we wasted our whole park day waiting thinking okay it's gonna be three hours possibly more but nobody ever mentioned the fact that we maybe might not get in now we're waiting in this little lobby area to be seated there was a lot of people in here when we got here and they're clearing people out to bring them inside so i'm hoping that we will be called in soon it's 7 30 now and they stopped seating people at 8 40. we kind of like just made it let me see what does it say My God! Oh! What? Look up! Look up! Look up! Oh my gosh! This is crazy! Is this the elevator? I think so. Now our departure speed today is going to be ten thousand miles per hour. So make sure to hold on real tight. Ten thousand miles per hour. Hello. In just a few moments, you'll be on your way to space station aboard this entire space station. Enjoy the ride. Yeah. <laughs> 
a bunch of like random little astronaut slash space station things like so there that fly by I even saw a space dog on a leash running they go by so quick and by the time I see them and try to film them they're gone it comes out of nowhere Oh my gosh. You got it comes with pop rocks. Rock. You got pop rocks. Yeah, the... That pops in your mouth. The big oh, tan. Oh my gosh. Oh, your food is very good. Oh, oh, oh. So much. Oh. Oh. Sauce on side. Hey, all this sauce on side. Yes. Yeah, boy, yeah. That looks so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you, bro. Good Big pasta, right? So oh. much. Yeah. Everyone say hi to the vlog. I will eat the tomato. Say hi. Wait, so there's something that pops. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I got the chicken waffles. Eric the blue got the sweat with sliders. And mom got the deviled egg. Oh, they came with the fries? What was that his? That's his. They got a lot. It might be hot. <laughs> Alright, so this I'll drink is a off. big tang, I believe. And on top of it, right over here, this little sprinkled crushed up stuff, is astronaut ice cream, which is freeze-dried ice cream, which is my favorite thing ever. Eric, what did he get? What's the name of it? Do you know? Sliders. No, it's drink. Oh, it's drink. He knows. Moon rocks. Moon rocks. Look they at that. Moon rocks. And it came with pop rocks. And what is the name of your drink, Mom? Um, ah. You don't remember? I don't remember. Oh, punch. Wasn't it something punch? Yeah. Shout out Christy, because she told us this one was really good. So thank you, Christy. I hope Mom loves it. Usually I wait until I get a straw, but the waiter didn't give us any. So I'm going to just try my drink. Also because the astronaut ice cream is right on top, so you probably won't taste it if you have a straw. Oh, this is so cool. Look how it's shaped. Cheers. I forget what the flavor was. What are your thoughts so far? Very good. I think you pay for this too. Yeah. selfies in space and he threw up the pizza and he went like this. What are they 
holding a bridge. Maybe they're repairing. The gang is all here. One last look. All right, we're headed out. How was everything? Delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your time and space. Welcome back. Watch your step as you enter this elevator. We will be on our way shortly. Now, on our way back down to Earth, the way of getting back down to Earth, there's always our emergency slide, although it is zero gravity more than half the way, so good luck with that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes faster on the way down than the way up. Pretty successful day at Epcot. What do you guys think? We did Space 220. We saw the brand new fireworks show. We went on test track. Yeah, we had a Mickey pretzel, of course. We went to the space restaurant. Okay. And we went on the ride. What ride? Oh! And this guy got me on Mission Space. That's right. I forgot about that. Eric went on twice. I told Eric, I don't care what day of the week it is, how old I am, how tall I am, I will never do that ride two days in a row. So he's a lot braver than I am for that one. Skyliners are stuff. We are on the boardwalk now. Dad is picking us up here. We just thought that it would be an easier pickup if we just walked here. This took literally five minutes to get here. And I carried Eric half the way here. And Eric's about to hop back. right back on my back, right? 